गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर यस्टरडेज क्लास वी लर्न यस्टरडे न्यू चैप्टर एंड द टॉपिक इट वॉज पीटर एंड वेंडी वी हैड लर्न अप टू पेज नंबर सिक्सटी एट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन ऑल ऑफ यू ओपन योर बुक्स एंड गेट रेडी आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट पैरा ऑफ द पेज हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू बिगिन बॉय सी सेट काइंडली वाई आर यू क्राइंग आई थिंक यू रिमेंबर दैट वेन आई टॉट यस्टरडे द बॉय पीटर ही वॉज क्राइंग ही सैट फ्लैट ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड स्टार्टेड टू क्राई एंड इन द मेन टाइम हु हैड अवकन आई थिंक यू ऑल रिमेंबर द लिटल गर्ल सी हैड awoken and she started to ask peter that why he was crying peter having learned the grand manner at fairy ceremonies rose and bowed to her beautifully in this way after knowing it that the girl had been awoken peter now he came to know that he having learned the grand manner of fairy ceremonies ceremonies here refer to formal gatherings to celebrate an important event so this is what now peter peter happens to come to realize it and he just rose up and bowed down in front of her in a beautiful manner she was much pleased and bowed beautifully to him from the bed and at the same time the little girl also she was very happy and she also in response bowed down when peter had bowed first she also happens to bow down in front of the boy peter what's your name he asked wendy moira enzila darling she replied what is your name in this way the little girl replies that her name was wendy moira enzila darling as they were all darling families you know that is why she responds in that manner and what is your name she happens to ask to peter peter pan my name is peter pan it it did seem a comparatively short name is that all it happened to under that uh, the little girl wendy here happens to come to know that the name peter pan was quite a short name that is why she says it did seem a comparatively short name that is what she thinks regarding the name of the boy is that all that is why she is asking that must your name is so short that is what she mean to say here yes he said rather sharply he felt for the first time that it was a short name i am so sorry said wendy moira and zila this was the first time for peter that he felt he realized that his name was really very short and this was also well understood by uh, the little girl wendy that is why she also apologizes i am sorry she says she has felt here and realized that by asking such question she might have made the boy upset it doesn't matter peter replied she asked where he lived now the little girl wendy wants to know that where did peter lived second to right and peter and then straight on till morning what a funny address this is the way in which peter responds to the question that where he lived the response was really funny second to the right said peter and then straight on till morning very confusing and a very uh, unclear type of address that the little boy peter was giving here to wendy that makes wendy quite in confusion brings her in confusion and what a funny address that is what she says peter had a sinking feeling for the first time he felt that perhaps it was a funny address no it isn't he said that is what peter also here now almost feeling as if he was sinking down for the first time he felt that perhaps it was a funny address because he also had thought that it might be a very funny address for wendy no it isn't he said then wendy saw the shadow on the floor in the meantime when then what it happens the next in the meantime wendy the little girl happens to notice the shadow on the floor looking so draggled and the shadow looked really very draggled meaning of draggled here 
dirty, wet, something that has been trailing through mud. Very dirty in look, in appearance. That is what draggled here means. That means the shadow which she found here was looking very untidy and she felt sorry for Peter. How awful, she said, but she could not help smiling when she saw that he had been trying to stick it on with soap. And this was really very uh, strange for little girl Wendy to how she felt sorry for Peter first of all and then she was also feeling very awful, very strange she was feeling and she said but she could not help smiling but at the same time she was smiling too, she could not control her smile which, what, which it was at the moment, it was itself the smile it was being appeared into her lips and when she saw why it made her to smile and to behave in such a manner because Peter was at the moment very desperately trying to he was trying to stick the shadow with himself with the help of the show. This made the little girl Wendy really to make smiles and she could not stop her smiles on her lips. This is what the situation it was faced children. I hope you might be all following the lesson and able to understand, right? So okay, let us continue further. Fortunately, she knew at once what to do. In this way, at the end, Wendy was able to know it that what to be done the very next. It must be soon on, she said. So finally what it was decided, if the shadow is not going to be, uh, it is not going to be sticked, then the very next attempt that which it can be done was by sewing. Right? This is what it was thought by the little girl, Wendy. Fortunately, she knew at once what to do. It must be sewn on, she said. I shall shoe it on for you. I am going to shoe the shadow with you. This is a kind of very strange kind of activities that they are going to do here to perform here. As you all of you might be also feeling very strange, but you should not feel strange at, at all because we are all learning what type of story here? We all are learning fairy tale stories. Whatever the things here it is been told that it is all possible in such type of fairy tale stories. So you should not feel very strange or something going very uh, awkward or strange which never it happen in our day to day, our daily life, you know. So these are all fairy tale stories. These are all the qualities of this, this type of stories. So this is how now here the little girl Wendy is now confirmed. She is quite sure that she is going to sue the shadow of whom Peter with his body. I shall sew it on you, on for you, she said, and shoot the shadow onto Peter's foot. In this way, she shoot the shadow. First of all, she started to sew it from Peter's foot. I dare say, dare say here it means, I dare to say, that is what the meaning, this is old English here, I dare say, it will hurt a little, she warned him. First of all, the little girl Wendy, warned Peter that it is going to hurt you, please be uh, very alert, it might hurt you a little because I am going to show it now. Oh, I shan't cry, said Peter, who was already of opinion that he had never cried in his life. But here, Peter was quite very sure and confident and he says that I am never going to cry and was already of opinion that he had never cried in his life and also he convinced to little girl Wendy that he had never cried in such situation in his entire life and he clenched in this way. He just remained clenched. Clenched here means pressed together tightly. He manages, he happens to tighten his teeth very firmly. That is what meaning of sometimes we tighten our fist very tightly. Sometimes we tighten our uh, teeth very tightly. Such kind of activity is called as clenching. Here Peter happens to clench his teeth. He stood and did not cry at all and soon his shadow was behaving properly in this way. In a very short period of time it was quite observed that his shadow was now. Now it had started to behave almost in a normal manner, in a, in a proper manner. Peter was now jumping about in the wildest glee in this way. Finally, when it was successful to attach the shadow with his body, Peter was very happy. He was now found so happy, he was so excited that he started to jump in a wild manner, in happiness. In glee means in happiness, in delight. Alas, he had already forgotten that Wendy was the one 
who attached his shadow. But in this excitement, in this uh, fun making ex excitement and happiness, what he forgot? He forgot that who had managed to attach his shadow in his body? It was no other than the Wendy little girl. Wendy, she was the person who had attached the shadow. He had forgotten about it. Peter had forgotten it about it. He thought he had attached the shadow himself. Instead, he thought he had attached the shadow by himself. How clever I am! He crowned. He just tried to praise himself. To crown means he crowd. Uh, he just crowd means he praised himself that I have done such a good work. I have done such a brave work. This is what he has now been started to praising himself. Oh, the cleverness of me! This is how he just praises by passing certain words for himself by saying certain words for himself. Wendy was shocked by such a manner which was displayed by Peter. Wendy was still just near to her, to him, very close to him. He, she felt really very much shocked. You conceited, conceited here means, here the meaning of conceited is extremely proud of oneself. That is what who remarked? Wendy, the little girl Wendy remarked, how just you are conceited, how you extremely feel proud of yourself, my boy. She exclaimed with sarcasm. Sarcasm here it means a kind of opposite of what one actually mean. That is what it means, meaning of sarcasm here. Of course, I did nothing. You did a little, Peter said carelessly and continued to dance. In this way, later on, what Peter said, of course, I did nothing. You did a, a little, Peter said and carelessly and continued to dance. In this way, he said that you have done little I have not I have not done anything, I have not done anything, any activities at all because of your contribution, because of your attempt, because of your whatever the help you did to me, this is what it was possible to get success to attach my shadow with my body. This is what he says in a careless manner and still continues to dance and have a lot of fun. A little she exclaimed and she sprang into bed and covered her face. You just think only a little, I have done only a little bit of the thing, then you got your shadow got attached with you. It was, she was not able to believe it. The little girl, Wendy was not able to believe it that she had done only a small bit of work here, a little bit of work here. That is was what it made her to exclaim and instantly she happens to jump towards to her bed and covered her face with the blankets to go for the remaining part of here a part of her sleep because she had awoken in the middle of the night because of the sobbing sounds which was created by the little boy peter i think you all remember so this is what we come to learn here children in this chapter which has been adapted from peter pan or the boy who wouldn't grow up this is the book where this small part of the chapter has been adapted from i hope you might have all understood the chapter well and uh, uh, followed it properly if so that's very nice in our next class we will be performing the various activities like question answers reference to context grammatical exercises everything which will be added with some homeworks too as well so till then let us uh, stop for today so i'm going to stop here right now so you all keep yourself safe keep learning and stay safe thank you